This is so unnecessary. It, it was probably that sketchy salad I had last night. Remember, I said it smelled weird. Jenny's been in pain since we left Fort Wayne three days ago. Hoosiers, huh? Winter getaway? College tour. Jenny got into Northwestern. Perfect SATs. Wow, congratulations. Jenny, are you feeling any nausea? I mean, a little, but I'm better now. I don't know why you guys are freaking... Oh, honey. We thought maybe appendicitis. No rebound tenderness. BP 100 over 62, heart rate 103. I told you, it's just food poisoning. All right, well, I'd still like to do a quick ultrasound just to see if I can get a visual on the appendix, okay? An ultrasound? Mm -hmm. It'll just take a second. No, I, I don't want that. Honey. I want to go. Jenny, appendicitis is serious, but it's easily treatable if we catch it early. But I have to take a look to do that, okay? Jenny? Okay. I guess. Right. Well, good news is it doesn't look like appendicitis. So, what is it? Well, it's hard to tell just yet. But I would like to run some tests just to rule a few things out, if that's all right. Oh, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Monique, CBC, BMP, coags, and a Quan HCG? Mm-hmm. We'll be back to check in once we get the test results in. Thank you. Did you see how scared she got when I mentioned an ultrasound? Yeah, she was pretty defensive. You think what I'm thinking? Pregnancy? Thinking endometrium, but I didn't see an embryo. Well, she could have had a miscarriage or an abortion. And whatever it is, she is definitely trying to keep her parents in the dark. But I don't think that's going to be possible. Ethan. Jenny. Where are your parents? They went to get coffee. We have to ask you something. Jenny, we got your blood work back, and it indicates a pregnancy. No, I'm not pregnant. Let us explain. I'm not pregnant. We understand how hard this is, but your test results and your symptoms shows that maybe you had a miscarriage or... No. No, I didn't. I don't want to talk about it. Jenny, in order for us to treat you properly, we really need to know what happened. Please. We are not here to judge you. No. We want to help you. The whole thing was stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> So when I found out that I was pregnant, I didn't know what to do. I'm finishing high school and I'm going to college. I understand. So I went online and, and I read about these pills. And what were they? Myth something. Myth of crystal? Did you take the follow-up pill? Mysoprystal? I couldn't get it. Not without a doctor. Jenna, that's why you're in so much pain. <laughs> without the second pill, you haven't fully aborted yet. Help me. Please. Just don't tell my parents. They'll hate me and they'll never forgive me, please. I think you might be underestimating them. No, I know them and you can't tell them. Jenny, I'm sorry. We're not going to tell your parents, but I am going to give you the second pill so that you can expel whatever is left in your uterus, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Nah, she's a minor. We can't give her medications without her parents' consent. Yes, we can. I'm Dr. Manning. Have you found out what's wrong with our daughter? Uh, we were actually just discussing that. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on some test results. The best thing you can do right now is just be patient. That's it? You have no idea? I know how frustrating this must be, but I promise you we are doing everything possible for Jenny. I'm sure that you are. Come on in. What do you think you're doing? I'm honoring my patient's wishes. And lying to her parents? I did not lie to them. You enough. withheld the truth, Nat. They have a right to know, a legal right. That's Jenny's call. If you have a problem with it, take it up with Goodwin. Dr. Manning boxed us into this situation. You want to talk about boxed in? The only reason we're in this situation is because Jenny had no options. The family lives in Indiana. Where she would need parental consent. And she was afraid to talk to them, so there was nowhere else to go, so she went online to find medication. This generation's back alley abortion. We don't make the laws, but we have to obey them. Jenny's a minor, and that means we have to tell her parents before we treat. No, her pregnancy test is still positive. Therefore, under the law, she is emancipated. She was pregnant, not anymore. Uh, technically, she still is. That's a good one. I'll admit it's a thin argument. Emancipation covers a woman's decisions regarding her pregnancy, but it, my understanding is that Miss Simpson has already made her choice. 
So we betray this girl's trust? Well, that's not what I'm suggesting. We have to obey the law and tell our parents. Oh, that's not exactly right either. If we had provided a medical abortion, which we didn't, then yes, the state of Illinois says we're obligated to inform the parents. But since she obtained the medication herself out of state, I'm not so sure. So you intend to keep the parents in the dark based on a technicality? No, because our patient asked us to keep it confidential. Look, I would suggest you continue to treat her according to her wishes until our lawyers make a determination. Thank you, Miss Goodwin. Help! Hey, sweetie. Uh, Dr. Manning! Dr. Choi! Oh, my God. Help her! I feel dizzy. Jenny, keep looking at me. Keep talking, okay? Mm, Mom. Are you okay, honey? Mommy is right here. I don't feel good. Oh, oh, God. What is happening to my daughter? There's so much blood. It's a gynecologic hemorrhage. She's passing retained tissue. You need from... to control the bleed? Monique, hang a unit of typed and crossed match blood. Give her 0.2 milligrams of methogen IM. Mm -hmm. And I need a stat, CBC, and coax. Wait. We need your parental consent. Ethan. To start the transfusion and administer the medication. Whatever you need to do. Go ahead. Since your patient, Jenny Simpson, is a minor, legal is concerned about liability. Of course they are. Bottom line, if you feel the need for any further medical procedures, you must obtain parental consent. Good. Thank you. This isn't right. I'm sorry, Dr. Manny, but you've given her methogen, yes? Yes. So let's hope she passes any retained tissue. That should take care of it. Hi. Can we have a moment to examine Jenny? Oh, of course. When are we going to know something? Honey, let them do their job. Come on. Thank you. How are you feeling, Jenny? I'm not good. Well, I'm going to do an internal exam, OK? So I just need you to lift up your legs just like that, and then just let them fall open. Perfect. Um, I apologize. This is going to be a little uncomfortable, OK? Thank you. All right, you ready? You OK? What is it? Well, your body hasn't expelled all the tissue related to the pregnancy. The medication we gave you was supposed to help, but unfortunately, you're still bleeding. It means you're going to need a DNC, dilation and curatage, a surgical procedure to remove the tissue. But we do need your parents' permission for this. M no, you can't tell them. We have to. Jenny, your temperature is elevated, which means you could be developing endometritis, which is a very serious infection. It could be life-threatening. No. <laughs> no, no. Jenny, I know you're afraid of what your parents will say, but they love you, and they would never want to lose you. <laughs> so I'm going to go talk to them, OK? Wait. My mom. Ask my mom to come in. OK. Mrs. Simpson, Jenny would like to talk to you. Oh. Um, hey, why don't you uh, go get a cup of coffee? I, I think this is mother-daughter talk. No, it'll be okay. I knew it all along. You had no right to keep this from us. It was Jenny's wish. Well, of course she didn't want us to find out. She knew it was wrong. What she did was, was murder. Mrs. Simpson, um, you should know that Jenny didn't want to tell you because she was afraid you wouldn't love her anymore. No. No. No, no, no. Listen, no matter what your beliefs are, that's your daughter, and she's very sick. Can I give the consent for the DNC without my husband? Yes? Do whatever you have to do to save my daughter. Just don't tell Joel what happened. I don't want this to destroy my family. But doesn't he have the right to know he's her father? Actually, actually, he isn't. And no, I never told him. 